yeah, they see themselves as trying to come in and reconcile with your ass, maybe get some loving, baby, baby, please, fight for the relationship. And Aquarius is over here like, you stab me in the back, all this shit could burn the fuck down. I will burn this motherfucker down, okay? Blocking the two of cups. I don't give a fuck about the uh, emotional attachment. I don't give a fuck about the twin flame shit. No, they they could have hurt you by maybe having a baby on you or dealing with a Libra. This is like, no. Or Libra, you're blocking a Libra or a Taurus from collaborating with you. And you like, fuck no. You want to bring chaos. See, it's like, because you had me all in my head and you got options. Or maybe you got options now. Or your person had options and that's what stabbed you in the back because you had these options, ho. So that's how they see the situation. They wanted to come in. And maybe you got them blocked or you ain't feeling what they're saying. All right, let's see how they're feeling towards you now, Aquarius. How is Aquarius person feeling towards them? How is Aquarius person feeling towards them? That's me dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yep, the Empress again, the baby mama card. So you guys, you are the baby mama or you're pregnant by them or you impregnated them. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm, again, Aquarius. Um, you guys could have lived together, or this person could be living with their baby mama. And you're waiting on them. Having hope. This person sees you as like a mother figure or wifey, or you, or you have to live together. And it's like you could be done with this person. They could be waiting to hear from you, or you could have been waiting on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, having the strength to wait on four wands again. Uh, maybe you guys could be moving. Maybe this person is saying they're gonna move in with you. And maybe they live with their baby mama, or maybe you're the baby mama they live with you. Or maybe this person left because it was a breakdown. Yeah, it was some type of death. Uh could be Scorpio for some of you guys or transformation. We have the Ten of Pentacles again, the Home Foundation, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Somebody is in between being emotionally abundant by themselves and being single. Maybe somebody wants to be single and live alone. Maybe somebody's kicking somebody out because you feel burdened like you got to make some choices, Aquarius. Or your person feels this way. Or they feel like they might have to make some choices about you. See, commitment between a commitment and whole activities. Okay, guys? That's what I'm seeing here. So that's how they're feeling towards you. You could be waiting for them to come back in, uh, in the situation, but you're like, tick, 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 um, the Ten of Pentacles, I'm abundant on my own. I might just be single and look at these new love offers if you don't hurry the fuck up, okay? So either you're going to pick a commitment with me or you're going to be with those other bitches or those other dudes because I don't have time to be waiting around, okay? But you've been waiting for a while. You had a lot of strength. But it's just like, mm, tick, tick, tock. But you're sitting there pretty, you know, it's like, okay, I'm waiting. I'm holding shit down. All right, next we have Pisces. Holy Spirit and Archangels, how is Pisces person viewing the situation between the two? And if you would like a personal reading into your individual information, reach out to me at VenusiaScorpIntuition at gmail.com. Hello, Pisces. This reading is timeless. No really stamp of time on it. Just whenever you see it. Holy Spirit and Archangels. What messages do we have for my lovely Pisces? What messages do we have for my lovely Pisces? How is Pisces person feeling towards them? Or the situation, sorry. How is Pisces person feeling towards the situation between them and Pisces? Maybe bad. Okay, some went down. Somebody's taking a break. That could have been a breakup. Some things changing and some shifts happening. Okay. 
All right. Four of cups. Somebody's dissatisfied with what's going on. Five of cups. Somebody is um, disappointed about some shit that went down. Somebody's taking a break and things are changing. This is definitely like breakup energy or some type of separation, right? So that's how they view in the situation, but we're going to clarify. Let's spin Archangels. Can you clarify the four of cups? See? Dissatisfied because somebody was stabbed in the back. Okay? Uh, it could have been a Virgo stabbing you in the back. Or a king of a Virgo that hides their feelings even though they care about you. Or it could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer that stabbed you in the back and they're really going within looking at what they did. Uh, or Five of Cups really sad about it. It could be a Capricorn. This person could actually give into temptation a lot, okay? And they're just disappointed in themselves and you're just tired of it. Somebody's wanting to take a break. Five of Cups, why is the Five of Cups here, Holy Spirit and Archangel? Why do we have the Five of Cups? Why do we have disappointment? See, the tower. This person, somebody's disappointed about a breakdown. I told you, breakup. Something broke the fuck down. Because somebody could have been given into temptation. Or somebody could have seen some messages where this person was given into temptation. Some of you guys could have been in, uh, some of you guys could have been trying to heal a family dynamic with this person. It's like they fucked up again. Or it's like they broke it down because maybe somebody's disappointed because somebody broke it down with you or you broke it down with them because somebody had a family with an Aquarius. Or they had hope for a family a family situation or it's like this person lifted their family up above everything that's the star in their life and you could be the temptation for a sword somebody taking a break or needing to take a break because it's just too much see taking a break from this closing up cycles trying to find their peace okay and what is these transformations and then it's like a shift things are changing in this shit Somebody's not going to have as much as a, of a hold as they used to or vice versa. Somebody could be seeing someone's deceitful ways for what they really are. See, um, the high priestess, some of you guys be dealing with Virgo, Pisces, wanting to work on it with a Virgo or Pisces, wanting to work on it with you after this break, okay? It's two wheels here. So crazy. Um, justice, noticing the two wheels, that, that just shows things are changing, like the cogs on a, you know, the wheel, cog, things are working together. Um, you could have felt this intuitively, that things are balancing out with this person, but it definitely was a type of breakdown, some sadness, you guys could have went through a breakup or separation, it's just like, maybe everybody was able to go to their little corners and do some deep thinking. Um, and then things shift and it's like you guys are trying to come back together to rejuvenate something. Holy Spirit and Archangels, angels, how is Archangels? I don't you people uh, spell it that way on Facebook or social media. Like, that is not an angel, bitch. That's an angle. Angel is A-N-G-E-L. Angle is A-N-G-L-E. Or like, it's like a sad post and they're like, yeah, we send the angles to the bedside. Don't don't send any fucking angles to my bedside. Thanks. I don't know why I just thought of that. That was funny as shit to me. That shit blows me. And then if it's a sad post, at least make sure you spell right and you're sensitive about it. Or just leave the status alone. Holy oh, Spirit of like Angels, how is Pisces person feeling about them at this time? How is Pisces person feeling about them at this time? Okay, okay. I'm going to take all those. It was like 80 cards. Believe me, if it's meant, guys, it'll come back out. It happens to me all the time. I will purposely put a card back and that motherfucker will pop out. Because I'll be like, oh, am I feeling it? I don't think I am. The spirit be like, you was feeling it. You was right. So guys, don't feel bad when you see me put cards back. They're not meant. And if they are, the spirit is not retarded. It know it needs to come back out. This bitch ain't listening. Let me show it again. If they're that powerful to witness things and let you know what's going on, they're powerful enough to make a card come back out. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have burdens. Maybe you live with this person. They feel burdened, kind of like about a household dynamic. See, we have the Tower. And we have the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's like you had a standoff with somebody. It's kept getting that energy. Maybe you're thinking about what's best for you. And this person is thinking about... I'm trying to make decisions mentally because there's a tower and it's burdensome. Maybe to be apart. The, the tower and the burdens is in between you two. 
This person's trying to think logically. You're trying to think about what's best for the home and your finances on your stability. While wow, this shit is a burden that this is breaking down. Nobody's liking it. Could be one that did it or like you tra you ended it or it transformed and now they're seeing you as wifey they're they're coming for you or it could be a scorpio coming your way Sorry. what is the bird in here though because it's like some things coming between you guys ah somebody was a fuck boy having to make choices and you had them like blocked or you are blocking their energy because it's like don't fly in here and you ain't made the decision in love. Or you a fuck boy. And then it's like their tower, their breakdown is that they need to work on this because you got them blocked and you're burdened because it's about their fuck boy and decisions they need to make and choices they need to make. And then they feel like it's a breakdown between you guys because you wanna maybe somebody has a very strong ego or some of you guys could work with this person. Or it's their ego, okay? They want to work on it, but they could have ego. Or they feel like they you want to work on it. They want to work on it, and you have ego. You know what I mean? King of Swords, again. Sag uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody trying to think logically. I feel like it's really scattered. It's a standoff, and people are making assumptions. I'm hearing assumptions about what's going on. So this person's being cold, and you're like, look, I'm going to focus on my coins, on my family, on my household, because this nigga's a fuckboy anyway. He blocked. You know what I mean? Everybody's just in their corners. But the separation is burdening both of you guys. So you guys will be dealing with a, Le a Sagittarius, Leo, or Capricorn. And like I said, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They seeing you here. Y'all are here, but you're in different elements right now. So you guys can be dealing with a fire sign, acting like a air sign and they're dealing with you an earth sign acting like i mean a water sign acting like an earth sign see your focus you're trying to be at peace and be good with your coins you're not trying to fight that's why i said you work acting like a queen of pentacles right now all righty guys i hope you liked your reading that's it and if you would like a personal reading reach out to me at venusian score intuition at gmail.com uh the lowest thing i have going right now is the 25 dollar a uh, pre-recorded message that I sent a link and you have up to three questions with that. Other than that, I have my 15 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute an hour phone or Skype sessions. Okay, guys, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the bonus. That was the Father's Day bonus, the ending of it. And I'm working on videos as this goes out. It's going to take about an hour to upload this. It sucks. Yeah, but you guys will see it as soon as it's done. Love you guys. Bye-bye.